How's it going everyone? So today I wanted to talk about which of these two cars, my Turbo X or my Arc, I'm going to be bringing to Saab Owners Convention as well as just giving an update on this car since really the only car that's been on the channel in the last month or so has been the Arc. And truthfully, really the only content I've had on the channel in the last month or so has been on either of these two cars and it's a good thing because, you know, it gives you guys interesting content to watch but for me, it's a good thing, but it's also a bad thing because it means I'm constantly working on these two cars. So hopefully they're both finally up and running. And that's part of what today's video is. I recently replaced the water pump. You're probably going to be seeing this video before you see the video on the water pump. So look for that soon. But I just finished replacing the water pump on this car. I let it run. It's, it's, it seems good. So I'm going to take it for its first drive in like two or three weeks today. I know it's been a while. So first, in order to do that, I've got to move the 9.5 wagon out of the way, and then we'll take this thing for a drive, make sure it's all good, and then talk about SOC and what's going to be going on with my cars there. And I apologize for the horrible background noise. It's summer in Arizona. There's cicadas everywhere. It's just, it's terrible. All right, so let's start her up and uh, go for a drive. Here we go. So, SOC coming up July 25th to the 28th. I, I plan on getting there Thursday and leaving on Sunday morning more likely than not. Um, so I hope to see some of you guys there. Some of you have reached out to me. If you are going and you wanna have your car featured on the channel, similar to what I did in last year's videos, please DM me on Instagram or email me. I hope you guys could hear those backfires with the windows up, but that was just crazy. It's about a 950 mile trip one way from where I am. So clearly that's a long trip. It's about 13 and a half, 14 hours. So I need a car that I can trust is going to get me there, right? And the Arc has been great since I've got it back running again in the last couple months of outside the alternator. And since I've done the alternator, it's been terrific. So. That is kind of my fallback plan B. Now, of course, this car is my nicer car, my car that I'm more proud of, you know, the car that you guys are probably more interested to see. So this is, of course, the car that I would rather bring. Now, with that being said, because of this ongoing coolant leak that I've been having, I can't necessarily trust this car yet. So. From the time that this video goes live, I'm actually already on vacation. I'm going to be in Mexico for about a week. And when I get back from Mexico, I'm going to be in town for a little bit less than a week before I go to SOC. So basically what I'm gonna do is right now and the week between my Mexico trip and SOC, I'm just gonna drive the crap out of this car. Probably try and put like, I don't know, 400 miles on it. At just as many miles as I can, wherever I go, I'm gonna take this car hoping that, you know, I can make sure that it's solid, it's not gonna leak on me or, you know, there's any other problem because outside the coolant leak, there haven't been any other, you know what, I'm not even gonna say that because I'm gonna jinx it and I'm gonna regret it. But so far, I mean, it's driving fine. I mean, the coolant leak wouldn't affect drive of like how the car drives, but uh, if I get the low coolant message on my dash, I'll be uh, a little bit concerned. One of the best features of this car, best AC I've ever experienced. But anyways, so the goal, like I said, is to bring the Turbo X. And if I drive it enough and it doesn't give me any problems and I'm confident that it can make that what would be, including driving there, probably a 2,000 mile trip, uh, then I'm gonna bring that. But if it, it gives me a leak or there's, a, there's something I see, it's just, it's not worth the risk because I don't want this thing to break down on me somewhere in Utah or Northern Arizona or Colorado and I'm like, well shit, now I'm eight hours from home and I don't have a car to, to drive. I'm gonna have to get this towed all the way back home. So I'm sure you guys can understand my logic behind that. Um, but like, like I said, again, if it gives me no problems, most likely this is the car that I'll be taking. This is the car that I wanna take. I'm gonna be a little bit disappointed if I have to end up taking the Arc. But uh, neither car is perfect. Regardless, both cars are going to need more work uh, before 
I go to SOC. So that week when I'm back, I'm going to be doing a good amount of work on the cars. So with this car, I'd like to do another coat of wax. I did a coat of wax on it like six months ago and it looks really, really good still. But I'd, I'd like to put another one on, just a quick wax, just to, uh, I don't know, just make sure it, it, it's looking as good as it can. Um, I also need to get the front right tire or front driver side tire has a very, very small and slow leak. So I'd like to take that to get fixed. Um, I have some plastic black trim restore that I bought. I actually bought it for the Arc, but I'm looking at this car and realizing that this car could use it too. So I'll be doing that on both cars. Um, I have a new Turbo X front lip because this one's pretty beat up. So I'd like to get a new lip on it. Of course, give it a good interior clean, uh, exterior clean as well, although it's gonna get filthy from driving to Colorado. And I'd also like to do the headlights again because I know someone's gonna give me crap there about the headlights, even though they're not bad by any means, they don't look great. So I guess now that I'm thinking about it, I'd like to do all those things on the Arc as well. If, if I do end up taking the Arc, I'll be doing all those things on the Arc as well before SOC. But if I end up taking the Turbo X and all that stuff, I'll be doing to the Arc as well, but it'll probably wait till after SOC just for sake of time. So like I said in that recent update video on the Arc, uh, I, I do have a lot of uh, cosmetic stuff coming for it. I recently did the Aero Lip too, but uh, it, it's gonna have to wait till after SOC mode. Because if you were to put these two cars next to each other, the Turbo X would look brand new and the Arc would look like it's been beaten to shit the last 15 years of its life. I mean. It's been well taken care of. It's just the paint on it is so rough. It's, I mean, I'm, I'm being really hard on it. It's honestly not super bad, but it, sh it needs to be a lot better if I'm gonna be taking it to a show and I'm not gonna have time to get the things repainted that I want to before SOC. So that's another reason why I'm hoping that I can take the Turbo X. I'm driving for over 10 minutes now, the car seems to be handling it perfectly. So, I think with that being said, guys, that's really all I've got for today. Uh, I'll be on vacation all this week, so I've got videos ahead of time. And then of course I'll have some content before I get back uh, to cover up to SOC. And then I'll have probably at least three, three videos for sure. And then probably realistically, I'll end up making like six, maybe even like seven or eight videos at SOC. It just depends on what I end up doing while I'm there. So. If you have something that's special enough, I could do a whole separate video on it. So keep that in mind. But with that being said, that's it for today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Say a little prayer for the Turbo X that the leak is finally banished. From I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.